they fought thing that you must fight in order to keep that faith alive is offense. I can tell you why many can't manifest God is offense. And you think this is something you will never graduate from. You say you are a pastor when you are, you are learning and growing. People will undermine you. People will write you off. You'll be offended. When you now grow and you think you have come into rest, that's where you see betrayal. You see envy. You see jealousy. You see witchcraft. You see backbiting. If you allow your heart to be corrupt, life will stop flowing. And so the reason many don't manifest the faith that makes them stars in their generation is because of offense. Listen, if you want to grow God in you, forget what the devil and men are doing. I'm telling you why many are not powerful. I'm telling you why many are asleep. Some people left ministry out of offense. Some left business out of offense. Some left leadership out of offense. And the devil knows. He will gather two, three people. They will gossip you. They will talk about it. You will go home. You will lie on your bed. You roll to the left. You roll to the light. It doesn't mean anything. You know what you do if you want to grow God? Tell yourself, they should keep talking. The more they talk, the more I'm charged. The more they talk, the more I'm motivated. Nobody and nothing can get me offended. If you think you get me offended out of this ministry, you are a joker. Keep talking and watch me making part. <laughs> they go and stand up. They say, look at you. You are proud. Look at you. You are ambitious. Look at you. You are arrogant. Keep talking. Because you want to talk, I'll give you many things to talk about. And so when you talk, sometimes I will deliberately come and give you another assignment. What you don't know is that while you are yet talking, those you are talking about are going forward. They are going forward. Go and check. Those who talk about people go nowhere. They talk and remain there and talk and talk and talk until 10 years later. The people they are gossiping, when they are passing, they bend down and greet them because levels have changed. It has changed. Ask those making impact, they will tell you. Sir Prosper, the first time you organized your concert, did your friends not say you are ambitious? Did they not look at you and say, what is he feeling like? He thinks he's better than us. We are there today. When you talk against people, you talk yourself down. But when you focus on your destiny and you don't care about what men are saying, when they speak, you say, throw your best shot. Nothing can pull me down. For greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. He said, if we are born of God, you have overcome the world. I know those are the elements of the world system. So I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Let me tell you, anybody who means you well of you will call you in love and advise you. Anybody who chooses to go talk behind you, he just wasted his time. The more he talks, the more you make him part. The more you talk, the more they make him part. And a point will come, God will allow them to be alive to see what he will do with your life, to humble them. Somebody's life will humble somebody. Never allow offense come. If you want this, your faith to work, when people talk against you, go back to the place of prayer. If you are hot, don't keep quiet. If it hurts you, go back to the place of prayer and begin to pray in tongues. As you are praying, a point will come, the presence of God will descend and it will heal you. If that doesn't happen, go and carry scriptures. Don't allow anything to take root in your heart. It will create bitterness. And when bitterness comes, you can't express faith. That's why our messages today are not powerful, sir. Somebody comes, he says he's preaching against immorality. It's a lie. He's trying to use that message to attack somebody else. And God knows. And demons know that this is not a revelation. Somebody comes, he says he's speaking against prosperity teachers. It's a lie. He saw somebody that he hates. Who is doing something well around prosperity? So he's trying to use the altar to attack it so that people will know and avoid that person. And God knows it's a lie. 
Somebody rises up. He says he's talking against false apostles. It's a lie. He's trying to attack an apostle. He doesn't know how to call his name. So he comes to the altar, generalize apostles. And when he's talking, you will know who he's talking to. And at the end of the day, it's not a revelation. And so when demons see, they know we are jokers. That's why we are not powerful. We talk, nothing happens. In the days of the fathers that were pure at heart, when they talk, princes fall. How can you talk against immorality and it's not affected? How can you talk against false teachers and it's not affected? How can you talk against false uh, doctrine and it's not affected? How can you talk against false ministry and it's not affected? Because it's not from the place of love. It's from the place of offense and bitterness. And if we allow that, we will corrupt our altar. We will sabotage our ranking in the spirit. And the day we come, we will lose the authority to address a generation. When somebody offends you, meet him and iron it out. And when you are done, iron it out, come to the altar with a pure heart and preach what the Holy Ghost puts in your spirit. I'm telling you why a generation is asleep. Why we are preaching and shouting, but nothing is happening. It's from the place of offense. It's from the place of bitterness. And so if we want to arise, we must leave offense behind. If we cannot leave offense behind, we can never rise. Look at the music ministry today. One person organizes a concert. Another person wants to organize a concert to show that it's bigger. And it's not about glorifying God anymore. It's about creating a show. Offense, bitterness, insecurity, competition, envy. We can't rise like that. We will remain in the place of slumber. Jesus said, "None, don't let yourself be offended. Thank you for watching, and if you have been blessed by this message, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. God bless you.